Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how to use the calendar in Windows Live Mail. We've looked at other aspects of Windows Live Mail, and it also has a very nice calendar function you can use. So we're in Windows Live Mail. You can see here you can have multiple calendars. So you can have calendars for each person in your family. You can add a new calendar, then pick a color that you want it to be. You can put in a description. You can make it your primary calendar. And then you can say Save. Now it appears in the list. You may note that things that are for a particular person show up in their color. This shows up in Michael's calendar. This shows up in Doc's calendar. If you click a new item, right click, say new event, you see this? We'll say picnic at the park. You want a reminder a half a day ahead. It's not going to be all day. It's going to be 10 a.m. Let's make it late. 9 p.m. Pack the sunscreen. Now you just say save and close and it shows our picnic and the location is the park. If Bob was having a birthday party at the town hall you could put that in there and it would show you. So there's just a nice reminder. You can delete a calendar if you want to. Just click on it. Say delete. You can set it as a primary calendar. You can hide a calendar from a list. You can also enter new events from here. And if you look at the properties, it brings up the original box that we had. You can get week views, day views, month view, and you can print your calendar. So this is the calendar in Windows Live Mail. It has a fair amount of functionality. It lets you have multiple calendars and keep everything on track. And that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.